Hey everyone, welcome to group break number 311. Today we have a uh, 15 box inner of the new 2020-2021 upper deck clear cut. So this is the single hit per box product. Uh, we're doing it random hit style, so there's 15 people in the break. Um, essentially how it'll work is that we'll open up all the boxes first and then we'll uh, write down the list of all the hits in the boxes and then we'll random the list of names three times, the list of hits three times, and then what you line up with is what you get in the end. So, you know, kind of save the, save the suspense to the end. Um, just one note with Clear Cut is that they do have redemptions in this and in the boxes that there are redemptions. Um, there are the rookie debut canvases. So if we do hit uh, a box with a redemption that has that canvas, it will just stay with the hit. So we'll list out the redemption plus like debut and it'll just stay with the box. So. Uh, you essentially get a box of clear cut. So anyways, uh, here are the people who are in the break. Again, good luck everyone. Uh, we'll get this case cracked open and we will get started. All right, so here's the master and we have one master total for breaks. Uh, the rest is gonna be mixed in with mixers. There's a clear cut mixer on the site right now. Um, but yeah. Let me know what inner, what inner should we open up for this? Should we go left or right? And if there's no choice in like two minutes, I'll roll a dice. But should we go left or right for the inner for this? Let me know. The camera seems a little bit off center too. Oh, because it is slightly. No, let's go this way. Right seems heavier. All right, so you're going right. All right. All right, so we'll go right. So this is right. We'll get this out of the way. And as I just ram my hand into the box now, label this one. Put it right here. There we go. And we'll put that in safekeeping. It's right there, I guess. And here we go. All right. That's always one of those products that is very, it's obviously very hit or miss. Um, no matter what format you do it in, it's hit or miss. We did a uh, random team just because it is, you don't miss, I mean, you miss on your, what could be a good hit, but you, um, you at least get something. So I'm just going to pull the checklist up quickly just because there are short print cards. Again, the key cards you're looking for out of clear cut are the uh, McDavid, um, like rookie cup tribute. Uh, the Makar Authentic Rookies, anything Gretzky, um, obviously your Caprizovs, your laughs, stuff like that. So here we go. Good luck, everyone. Let's uh, let's get something sick. So case number is, if I can get it, 4937434484. There we go. And was sealed on the top and bottom. Tape seems a little bit loose. I don't know how else to describe it. Oh, I was also gonna check to see where it was printed in. So. Here we go, there's all the boxes. Case is empty. Other thing I was curious about was where it was printed. Uh, printed in the USA. There we go. Just because products have been printed every which, everywhere's. Um, so cool. Box numbers. We'll get those shown here quickly. Uh, Deuce. No idea on trilogy. Um, no idea. I know 2122 clear cut got announced today. Um, there are some release date updates as well. I think um, 
the next hobby release, I mean, MVP release today, but again, it's not like your traditional, like it's more of a lower end hobby, obviously. Still a fun break. Again, I if you have the itch to open up a box and like want some new content, that's always a good one to go for. Um, but yeah, nothing new on Trilogy. Honestly, I wouldn't mind if they just merged Trilogy and like extended into like one product permanently um, and a couple others and just kind of like, I don't know, consolidate a few. So that way, you know, we have a few, like it make extended a lot more fun, I think. And like Trilogy had some really good cards in it, but it seems like there is a lot of fluff over the years. Um, so they could keep those like key cards in there, but yeah, I don't know. I want to see, a, I want to see some new, like new sets too. Right. So I'm kind of getting that itch as well. So here we go, starting off. Box 917. So again, we're gonna open up all the boxes, list out all the hits after. Uh, so if you're watching this on YouTube, essentially it's gonna be, we'll open up all the boxes and then from there we will, uh, I'll write down all the stuff. I'll try to include a jump cut, but here we go. And we have a Champs Auto of Roman Yossi for the Predators. I mean, you'll see a little bit of like just fluff on the back that'll I think come off, but yeah. So that's the uh, they brought back kind of like the old school champs design. Um, nice looking card again. My one my one thing with it being clear cut is that I wish that they were just clear cards. So, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. I I have a I like um. I like Trilogy too, like, Trilogy, I like the signature packs, I like the, um, rookie premieres and stuff, it's just, you know, I feel like they could, like, having a year break from it's not the worst, so here we go. Uh, what was the Yossi on the, um, what was the Yossi? You need to see his RJ, so he's a group C, so he's the easier one to pull from that set. All right. An average case, it seems like there's about three, four cards that are pretty solid. Um, some that obviously like aren't great, but here we go. Ooh. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, one of our rookie uh, flashbacks of David Perron. This is his artifact rookie. Uh, just as a heads up, the uh, the void if. Uh, thing stuck to this so there's really nothing that we could do about that Oop, as I bump the camera but nice these are cool uh these are the 0708 artifacts um cool that's pretty cool so David Perron here and that was box number 868 Actually, it seems like it's a different print manufacturer for this because every time they do a different one, it's different stickers. I don't know. That's what it feels like. Uh, the rookie tribute autos. David Perron. I think he's the lowest group. Um, yeah. One in 30. So. One in 30. Here we go. Normally get one tribute auto per, per inner or so is what it seems like. So. Um. Not the best one to get, I will say that much, but at least one rookie tribute auto. Here we go. Next up. Uh, memoirs of Yul Levy. A really nice looking card. Um, I don't know. Like, I like the foiling on it. I'd like to see it, you know, clear. I just wish they leaned into like the clear aspect a little bit more like they did with exquisite right and they did it with artifacts and other stuff right like those cards are clear i want to see them lean more into that that was my initial like problem with the product and it's still kind of a, one thing that's been consistent with it but here we go next up nice we have a canvas auto of vasileski for the lightning to 88. Vasilevsky, that's probably the best hit so far, I would say. Vasilevsky on the canvas auto to 88. Next up, box 
96. So far we're getting some good vet content. Um, you know that's the one. That's the other one good thing with clear cut is that you get a lot more vet autos than normal products. It feels like so. Next box. Josh Norris, the 25, on the Champs rookie auto. Not bad. The green numbered one of 25. Definitely using a different. They definitely use a different printer because that numbering is very different. So. Next up. Yeah. Yeah, Norris is pretty solid, so no complaints about him. There we go. Alright, here we go. Nick Suzuki on the Champs Auto for the Habs. Another nice one. Suzuki for the Habs on the Champs. Uh he is a Probably the same group, I would have to guess. And, oh, that's rookie autos. Uh, yeah, group C. So, easiest group to get, but one of the better names, I'd say, in that group. Oh, uh, you got Barkov, Besser, Vasileski, Svetch, Burns. Yeah, I'd say he's one of the better names. Here we go, next box. Yeah, I I like the I like the fact that they brought champs cards back because I've always liked them. Um, if those were clear, those would be really cool. I think. Here we go. Cal foot for the lightning. That's right. Two bolts in this. That was box thirty six on the box numbers two three six. Um, next up is one three five. Cal foot. So so far, I mean, our best. Our best rookie card happens to be the lowest numbered one, which is nice. We like to see that. You know, hitting the right cards in the right sets is always important. So here we go. I think we we still got one big hit coming. So, uh, Pius Suda, this is our first base auto actually, base rookie auto. Or it might be it might be Puis. I forget. All right, halfway through. Two, three, seven. I'm feeling. I'm feeling another canvas auto of like a mid tier vet. So, you know, like a Brock Besser type player. You know, not the best, but. Oh, well. All right. Bobby Orr on the base legends autograph. That's, that's pretty solid. There's a little Bobby Orr base legends auto. Uh. One in, uh, so base legends autos are one in 90, so pretty rare. Bobby Orr's a group B, one in 258. Pretty cool card there. Here, we'll, uh, we'll get a standout for that one, I guess. There we go. All right. Actually, one thing I will say is that the centering looks pretty good on that for the text. Some of them I've noticed have been a little bit off. Next up. I mean, so far our worst card is definitely the Yolevi. Um, you know, foot's not the worst. Suitor's like an NHLer. So here we go. Max Latunov for the Sharks. Well, that might be up there. That was... 5-8 on the box number. All right, here we go. Five left to go. 4-4-8. Four, four, as, as I said, like, you know, mid-tier canvas auto and ends up being like a legend clear-cut auto. So I'm going to say legend clear-cut auto, and it's going to be a mid-tier canvas auto this time. Just have the boxes mixed up. Oh, we have a redemption. Uh, clear cut champs rookie auto no numbering of Dylan Cousins. So this and the rookie debut, which has the um, the stickers, kind of come off of that. But and a Kaprizov debut canvas. So that's a really good little. Uh, that's a really good little. Uh, 
box there. You get the Kaprizov and the Cousins. So that's pretty solid. Here's the back of the debut canvases. That's a pretty solid one. That might honestly, that might be the one that you want, right? You get a good auto with the uh, Dylan Cousins, and you get the good debut canvas with Kaprizov. Pretty solid here. We'll, uh, we'll stand that one just because it's like. Let me get the uh, the gunk off of it. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Cousins and the Kaprizov. Yeah, that one's, that one's pretty solid. I think you, you take that one. If this was a draft, that'd probably be like second pick. Because Cousins is just good. And the Kaprizov is just a nice little bonus. Here we go. Sebastian Ajo. Yeah, solid play. This is an update, I believe. Yeah, from 1920 clear cut. This is an update. All right, next up. I think right now top three are the Kaprizov, the Orr, and the Vasilevsky. Quivula uh, for the Islanders, that's an update from last year. It's not who you wanna see. Again, that would, that's one of my least favorite parts about single hit products is when there's updates from the last year of like the not good rookies, because it's always a little bit frustrating. Um, that'd be frustrating if that was, you know, a box that you opened up and the box that you get in this, so. But again, if that was like a Makar, which to be fair, there are Makar one of ones in this, um, rookie one of ones. An exclusive of Regulo for Chicago to 65. Again, the little hologram sticker kind of peeling off a little bit. Regulo on the exclusives, so. I honestly don't know what's going to be in here. We've had a little bit of everything. Had a good vet. We've had a legend. We've... We haven't... I mean, Cousins is a good rookie auto, but, like, we haven't had a... I would say we haven't had a big one, so. The Norris is also nice, but, like... No, a good base rookie auto. Like a Robertson, a laugh, someone like that. Here we go. Uh, Heiskanen on the memoirs. That's not bad. So there are all the hits. So I'm going to get them uh, right in the checklist here in the break thing. And then we'll go from there. So the Heiskanen memoirs, I'm going to guess, is like lower tier. Um, Hero Heiskin, yeah, he's a group C. Um, yeah, so like our groupings weren't great for some of the stuff, but hey, it is what it is. Uh, I gotta get random.org up now for two, and then just give me a minute while I get the list going here, and then we'll do a quick little recap after we do the randoms. Uh, All right, hits. We have Roman Yossi Champs, uh, David Perron Artifacts, uh, Oli Ulevi Rookie Memoirs, Va Andre Vasilevsky. Canvas out of 88. Josh Norris Champs. Five. Um, then I think we went Suzuki Foot or Nick Suzuki Champs. Cal Foot Champs. Uh, Bobby or Base. Uh, we went or then we went suitor rookie uh maxime 
Uh, Tuna rookie. I think the other one went um, Dylan Cousins champs plus Caprizov debut. Uh, Sebastian Aho base update. Otto Koivula base rookie update Alec Regula exclusives out of 65 and Heiskanen memoirs all right so here we go so these are all the hits that we got I will um, make them a little bigger here but we have the Roman Yossi Champs, the David Perron Artifacts Tribute, uh, the Yolevi Rookie Memoirs, the Vasilevsky Canvas out of 88, Josh Norris Champs out of 25, Suzuki Champs, uh, Cal Foot Champs, uh, Bobby Orr Base Auto, Pius Suter uh, Rookie Auto, Max Latunov Rookie Auto, the Cousins Champs plus Kaprizov Debut, uh, the Aho Base Update, the Koivula Base Update, the Regula Exclusives, and the Heiskanen Memoirs. I'm just going to make this consistent and do Miro. There we go. All right, so let's get the names copied over. Sorry, I just got to get my mouse into a spot where I can actually move it. It's 15 cards, 15 spots. Good luck, everyone. We'll do the names three times. Once, twice, third time. Jacob on top, David on the bottom. And the hits three times. Here we go. Good luck. Once. Twice. Third time. The ore base on top. All right. Here you go. Jacob, you have the Bobby Orr base auto. Cedric with the high skin and memoirs. Marshall, you've got the... Uh, Roman Yossi Champs, uh, Shogun Deep, you've got the Koivula Base Rookie Auto, uh, Emil with the Regula Exclusives, Peter with the Suter Rookie, uh, Frank, or Jacob Frank with the uh, Olya Levy Memoirs, uh, Mark with the Norris Champs of 25, Scott, you've got the Latunov Rookie, uh, David, you've got the Peron Artifacts, uh, Raymond, you've got the uh, Cousins Champs and Kaprizov Debut, uh, Robert with the Calfoot Champs, Graham with the Nick Suzuki Champs, Joseph with the Vasilevsky Canvas, uh, and David with the Sebastian Aho Base Update Auto. So, again, yeah, just quick little recap. I mean, we just kind of said them all, but we'll go over like the top five, I guess. Um, we'll go with what do we go with for five? Honestly, I'll go probably Norris. Norris on the Champs, Rookie Auto 25. So we'll go with that with that number five, number four. I just like the look of this card. It's really, really these are really, really cool. Uh, the Peron rookie tribute. Uh, that one was uh, David. Uh, number three, we'll go with the Vasilevsky canvas. There we go. Number two, we'll go with the Cousins and the Kaprizov. I honestly think the Kaprizov is probably the better card between these two too. Which is hilarious, but. I'll just stick this back on properly now one second um, there we go and little break we'll go with the Bobby Orr so uh, yeah I'd say like solid inner nothing super fancy the ore is nice but like nothing major but yeah that's 311